everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Brother Scan Mat with the PR1055X. This is a scanning mat that comes with the machine and it was kind of something I forgot about. I got all my accessories and I put my machine together. I put the accessories under the shelf that comes with the machine and I kind of forgot about it. But I thought about it the other day. I pulled out my manual to see how this works and I'm going to show you how you can go from this to a embroidered design without ever touching a computer or having a design digitized. It is all done right in my design center that is part of the Brother PR 1055X. It's all done on the machine using the scan mat. So this is the scan mat. And what this does is it allows you to take an image, put it on here, the brother will read it, and then it will scan it and it will create an embroidery file out of the image. So today we're going to be doing this little unicorn, Evie loves unicorns. So I'm going to stick this right on my scan mat. Just lay it right there in the middle. It comes with some magnets. All I'm gonna do is secure it with the magnets on the corners. And we're gonna head over to the machine and set this up. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove the A-arm. There are these thumb screws, you're gonna remove, you don't need to worry about this first one, you're gonna remove this one and this one. Okay. And it just lifts off. Keep track of those thumb screws. Now here's my scan mat. Right here is a little black piece. You're gonna slip that out and it fits right on top of the eye where the needle goes. I've got my scan mat. I'm going to replace it. There are these straight holes that fits on top of these little pegs that are left right here. There's one on each side. They fit inside these square holes. The thumb screws are going to go inside the round holes. So just going to slip that back on. Very simple. Put those pegs through the square holes and then return the thumb screws in the round holes. So here at the screen, we're going to go to my design center. It's going to tell us it's going to move. So now we need to tell it, do, are we going to scan an image? Are we scanning a line drawing or are we scanning an illustration? So an illustration is going to be a color design. This is just a black and white line design. So we're just going to click line. We're going to click scan. So the message comes up, the frame will move to be scanned with the built-in camera. It's going to scan the scan mat three times to get the image. The eye is reading this right here. And then it will start scanning. So you can see after it scans, it found the design on the machine. So we are just going to crop out these magnets and get the design only that we want to save. And we're going to click OK. It's showing us the scanned image and it looks like everything is in there. Now that the image is in there, we need to add our colors and tell it what we want it to do. So we have a choice. We could make it a line image. We could make it a filled image. I'm going to do a filled image. So we're going to go right here. And this is your fill stitch. This is your stipple stitch. This is a quilting stitch. And this is a line with no stitching. So we're going to leave it on fill. And the first color we're going to fill, let's do pink. Click OK. Now I'm going to click on the paint bucket. So the paint bucket is pink with a fill stitch. And I'm just going to click on the part that I want it to make pink. So I'm going to do the nose. And maybe one of the pieces of the mane. I'm going to click on the color chart again. And I'm going to go blue. Click OK. Color in another piece, click on the color chart, um, maybe I'm going to do yellow, again, maybe purple. So I didn't mean to get that part purple, purple, and <laughs> so you just click undo, and I'm shooting for this, and I can magnify this to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to click that, got that in purple, I go back, I'm going to do white for the inside of the unicorn. I want to do the eye 
So I'm going to click on the color and maybe do gray. And let's see, it doesn't look like it filled in. I'm not sure if we got that white, so I'm going to try that again. White. Okay. Paint bucket, this area. Let me zoom out a little bit. All right, so we still got the top of the main. Maybe do, uh, let's do dark pink. And maybe I'm going to do the gold or yellow. That looks pretty good. So once you've got it the way you want it, everything looks the way you want it. And just to show you, um, if I change this and I go to the stipple stitch, and this is just to show you what it looks like. And then I click on this. There you can see it's going to do a stipple stitch. So I just want to show you what those different stitches do, but I want to keep it a fill in white. So we're going to do it like that. I'm going to click next. Here I can change things such as the direction it's going to stitch. You can leave it at auto. That's what I'm going to do. This is your density. You can make it denser if you want or less. This is your pull compensation. I'm going to leave that as is, and this is if you want underlay. So I'm going to leave that as it is too. So that's it. That's all you need to do. Once you go past the screen, you can't go back to editing it. You can't go back and change any of these stitches. So you want to make sure while you're here, everything is the way you want it. So I'm going to click set. And it's telling you here that once you exit this, you can't go back and change it. So we're going to click OK. So now we're in our normal embroidery screen. So you can see what this looks like. Let me make it a little bit bigger. There you go. So that looks like our normal embroidery pattern, correct? So now you can go in and do the normal edits. So I'm going to hit edit end. And I am going to, if you wanted to rotate it now, you could. If you want to do any of the stops you could. I'm not going to do any stops. I'm going to leave this just as it is. So I'm going to click embroidery. I'm going to hit close and now I'm going to assign colors by clicking this button. And we're going to do that in do that in color 8. My white is on color 10. My deep rose is on 5. All right, so now all we have to do is remove the scan mat and put the regular embroidery arm and hoop on. So again, I'm just going to remove those thumb screws. You want to remove this little piece, make sure you put that back so you don't lose it. And we're gonna put the other arm back on. Goes on the same way. The very first hole is where your first peg on the left goes, and then the rest will fall right into place. Thumb screws in. So I've got my hoop in with some tear away. I just put a piece of faux leather on here. I'm just going to switch this out for fun for Evie. So we just go back to the machine. Click OK. And click the lock button and click start. Right, was that fun? Here is our little unicorn that we made from a scan mat. How awesome is that? This is a really fun feature that I think gets overlooked. There's not a lot of videos on it. Um, when I was kind of doing some research on how to do it, this is, is something you need to get in your machine and play with. The PR1055X has so many editing features and um, objects, shapes, fonts, everything built right into the machine. And that's part of the reason that I wanted to get this multi-needle machine because it is, um, 
it's not only just an embroidery machine that can do incredible things. You can have a business with this very easily, but it's also a fun uh, machine to use to create your own digital designs to um, expand your knowledge without having to invest in software. So you can see I very easily made an embroidery file out of an image, an embroidery file out of an image using nothing but the machine. How cool is that? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching and as always, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.